Let's look at symmetry in the coordinate plane by looking at reflections. How are opposite number lines similar and how are they different? Two and negative two are opposites because they are both two units from zero on the number line, but in opposite directions. Opposites are similar because they have the same absolute value, but they are different because opposites are on opposite sides of zero. Let's look at some vocabulary. We have been working with the coordinate graph, a two-dimensional number line where a horizontal and vertical line intersect. The horizontal axis is called the x-axis and the vertical axis is the y-axis. The intersecting x and y-axis divide the coordinate plane into four sections. These four sections are called quadrants. Quadrants are named using the Roman numerals one, two, three, and four, beginning with the top right quadrant and moving counterclockwise. Remember that the point where the X and the Y axis intersect is called the origin and have an ordered pair of zero, zero. You can find a location on the grid using the ordered pairs, also known as coordinates. In an ordered pair, the X coordinate is listed first and the Y coordinate is listed second. Locate and label the points 3, 4 and negative 3, 4. What do you notice? Pause the video and take some time to answer. Did you notice that they have the same Y coordinates? The X coordinates have the same absolute value. The absolute value of 3 is equal to 3, and the absolute value of negative 3 is equal to 3. The x coordinates are opposite numbers, so the points lie on opposite sides of the y axis. Both points are 4 units above the x axis and 3 units away from the y axis, so the points are symmetric across the y axis. A reflection across the y-axis takes one point to the other. Now let's locate and label the points 3, 4 and 3, negative 4. What do you notice? Pause the video and take some time to answer. On the other example, the points had one point in quadrant 1 and the other in quadrant 2. This time we have one point in quadrant one and the other in quadrant four. Did you notice that they have the same X coordinates? The Y coordinates have the same absolute value. The absolute value of four is equal to four and the absolute value of negative four is equal to four. The Y coordinates are opposite numbers. Here we have four and down here we have negative four. The points lie on opposite sides of the X axis. Both points are three units to the right of the Y axis and four units away from the X axis. Notice that one point is four units above the X axis and the other is four units below it. And because opposites have the same absolute value, both points lie the same distance from the x-axis and the same distance to the right of the y-axis, so the points are symmetric across the x-axis. A reflection across the x-axis takes one point to the other. Let's locate and label the points 3, 4 and negative 3, negative 4. We plot the first point at 3 units to the right and 4 units up. and the other point at three units to the left and four units down. What do you notice? Pause the video and take the time to answer. These points fall in quadrant one and quadrant three. The X coordinates, negative three and three, have the same absolute value. The absolute value of three is equal to three and the absolute value of negative 3 is also equal to 3. 
the y coordinates have the same absolute value. The absolute value of 4 is equal to 4, and the absolute value of negative 4 is also equal to 4. Notice that for both of these points, the x and y coordinates are opposite numbers. 3 is the opposite of negative 3, and 4 is the opposite of negative 4. They are both located 3 units from the y-axis, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 4 units from the x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Because the points have opposite numbers for x and y coordinates, they must lie on opposite sides of each axis. A reflection across one axis followed by the other will take one point to the other. In a reflection across both axes, both coordinates change their signs. Points A and B show us that if we reflect a point in the coordinate plane over the x-axis, the points will have the same x-coordinates and will be on the same vertical line. When a point is reflected over the x-axis, the y-coordinates have equal absolute value and opposite signs. The absolute value of 8 is equal to 8, and the absolute value of negative 8 is equal to 8. Reflecting over the x-axis means we have the same x-coordinate and opposite y-coordinates of each point. Point C and D show us that if we reflect a point over the y-axis, the points will have the same y-coordinates and lie on the same horizontal line. The x-coordinates have equal absolute values and opposite signs. The absolute value of 4 is equal to 4, and the absolute value of negative 4 is equal to 4. When we reflect over the y-axis, we have opposite x-coordinates, negative 4 and 4, and the same y-coordinates, 2 and 2. A reflection over both axes is a combination of a reflection over the y-axis and a reflection over the x-axis in either order. We take the point 5, 6 and will first reflect it over the y-axis and then reflect it over the x-axis. The ending point would be negative 5, negative 6. Notice that in a reflection over both axes, both coordinates change their signs. Let's summarize. To reflect points over the x-axis, use the opposite of the y-coordinate. To reflect points over the y-axis, use the opposite of the x-coordinate. To reflect a point to the opposite quadrant, or over both the x and y-axis, use the opposite of both coordinates. In this lesson, you learned how to reflect points over the x and y-axis by using a coordinate plane.